Uh, hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your September 2017 general reading. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Alright, so it looks like there's a need for control of some sort. There's a need for control. Perhaps there's been some depression. Um, could be an overload of some sort. I think that maybe some secret um, has been, has, is being revealed that you knew all along. Okay, I think that you have been preparing for this secret, whatever it is. And, you, and I think that something was false and you saw it coming. Okay, and it causes a loss, okay, because so, we have the tower card right here. I think that there was a um, shock. There was something that comes in as a shock, and at first it's like a, it's mind-blowing, but it turns out to be a blessing, okay? So I'm not exactly sure what this is, but this is around the middle of September. Could have happened already because the energy is fluid, um, and I see that there's a lot of moping about it, whatever this is, whatever broke down, there's moping about it. Perhaps it has caused you to spend some money and now you feel it's like money is thin. Okay. And I think that you're, maybe you're working extra hard to replace some money that, you know, has been, um, lost. All right. You do have a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in the picture. Um, you also have a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You, you have... I already told you the Earth signs, didn't I? An Aries. But there's definitely a control issue here. So there's definitely a controlling... Um, powerful dominant energy here in this reading so I don't know if it's you taking on that energy or if it's somebody that you're with but there's definitely the need somebody does not want to lose control okay um, but they're gonna because that's why the universe the universe card is here because it's meant to happen it's meant to happen so that you can focus on a new path Because I, something is over. Something is over up here. Something has ended. It's the Ten of Swords. Something has ended that may have made you feel, you know, shaken up your finances. Could be a job. A job could have ended. Or a source of income could have ended. Because you're feeling insecure. But I don't think that you have anything to feel insecure about. Maybe your struggles... For money, if you were struggling here, feeling insecure, all of a sudden some money might come in. You might get a raise. You know, you might get more money and it's the end of struggling. So it can go both ways. This is crying over something though, moping over something. But this was unexpected. When this life experience comes in, it was unexpected. So most of the time people do have some emotional setback because of it 
but it doesn't stick around. It's, it moves its way out, all right? So any, I think any struggles financially that you've been having are, are not going to be here much longer, okay, if you're having any. I think that they're very, very temporary. Um, I see that you're definitely a lover. You're a giver. You're kind, caring, and I think that you maybe you've been giving a lot. And I think that you're going to be rewarded for, or you are rewarded for all that you give. All right. I think that, right, yeah, I don't think this, this month, it, so far as I can see, you know, this isn't a love reading, this is a general reading. This month is more about money. This work, this month is about um, repairing something that has been broke down. Okay. Something broke down financially, and it's about repairing it. And moving to a more peaceful spot financially. Which I think that you're going to do. And I think this is no secret. Because I think that you know. You know what this is. I think you saw this coming. You saw this breakdown coming. Whatever it is. I think you saw it coming. Maybe some spending was out of control. Something was, there's a need to control. That's for darn sure. And something happened impulsively. I don't know what that is. <laughs> need, this is right here. Moderation, overindulgence. Maybe there's been some overindulging in spending. It could be. You know, and alcohol as well, but I don't think it is. I mean, it could be. But I think that the, the, any struggles that you have been having are going to be over because that's the, it's the end of it. Yeah, this is the end of it. Okay? And I think it might have just been a pretty impulsive time. You know, the Mother of Pentacles is very materialistic, and so isn't the, the King of Pentacles. It's the King and the Queen. They're very, very materialistic. So just keep that in mind. They, they work for what they have, but they don't need everything they have. Okay? Just, just a heads up. All right? That's what, that's what this is. This is an overindulgence. This is, it is. All right? So this is also reminiscing about the past. That's where this this comes from. That's where you you've got this um, crying over something from the past. So this is in the month of September, moping, moping that you've spent too much in the past recently, in the past. That's what this is. You don't even stay there. Just move forward. Don't even stay there. Just move forward. Just get out of that thought. It's over and done. I mean, you're going to build it back up quite, quite quickly. All right? You are. You have. You know. You are skilled in whatever you do. You are very skilled. You'll bring it right back just like that. You will. You have everything you need right now. Rest assured to get by. You have a beautiful soul. You are beautiful inside and out. Very caring, nurturing, kind, loving. Beautiful. And that will get you through while you are bringing back in these finances. I think that whatever has been lost will come back because you have worked for it and you continue to work for it. So I think that's what this month is about. It's about bringing back whatever money has been over spent you know lost you know. I'm gonna get you one of my vintage wisdom or whatever it is whatever vintage wisdom oracle cards 
I can't ever say it. I've had these for a long time, but for some reason, I can't. Nature. And then I'm going to get you one of my whispers of love. I am going to do love readings as ASAP as soon as I can get to them. Listen with your heart. Somebody else had this one too. Nature. An exotic dancer holds a rapturous pose amid wildflowers and seed heads in a faraway far field free from the restriction of worldly cares her sun-kissed body and delicate skin blend organically with the wild beauty around her this image captures all of nature's elements in the sky beyond air the distant sea water the warmth of the sun fire and the soil beneath her feet earth although the dry land look bar looks barren dandelions and poppies abound the red poppy is associated with death remembrance and renewal Red is the color of energy, life force, and the root chakra, chakra, sorry, in the human aura. By nourishment absorbed through the earth, this chakra helps sustain all other chakras, enabling them to thrive and remain healthy. With the, with the quickening pace of technolo technological, <laughs> yeah, culture. In urbanization, our connection with nature has severely eroded, and yet it is Mother Nature who provides us with so many gifts by putting us directly in touch with the season's cycles and bounties of life. She reveals the smallness of our place in context with the unfathomable mysteries of her infinite wisdom. Mother Nature inspires humility and wonder leading us to question and hopefully respect the miracle of life, death, and transmutation. By observing and honoring the sacredness of nature's kingdom, we gain a fuller understanding of what is meant to be united through our connection to the universe and cosmos. She can lead us to the oneness by providing a, livid, a living bridge between the earthly and heavenly realms as the saying goes as above so below the presence of this card invites you to realign your energies through deepening your affinity with nature perhaps you have been overwhelmed by the pressures of daily life or are recovering from a big ordeal you may feel lost in the details are trapped in a relentless cycle of habitual thoughts or patterns of relating that no longer serve you well. At any level, evaluate your integration with nature and allow your intui intuition to reveal how you would most benefit from her healing elixir. <laughs> they write too much in those books, and that one anyway. One, listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. The opportunity is here for you to try a loving perspective to the situation. It is easy, it is easy to get wrapped up in the words that are being said. What does your heart say about the situation? It knows the truth. Trust that. Sit still. Take a deep breath and ask your heart what you need to know. That is what I have, Aquarius. Thank you for your patience. Like I said, this may or may not resonate. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who watch it, and this is not a love reading. The next one will be.